Right then, this is the golf course near Bleeden. In the distance there we've got Bring Down again and Steep Home from a different angle. Here's Bring Down, there's Steep Home in the mist at the bottom of the golf course. We'll get some more views of that later. I've got to join the public footpath now. I just came up from there, off the Roman road. It was a, believe it or not, an unknown but an easier route, even uphill. So we're now going to be in Hutton Wood very soon. Um, yeah, I'll be in Hutton Wood. Then I'm going to be walking across Hutton Moor. I will explore Hutton Wood again when the bluebells are out. Right, here we've got the, the golf course. This is probably a nine hole. It might not be. It might be 18 hole. I'm very pleased with what I've achieved, actually. Exploring as well. Taking and exploring spontaneously. But first part was obviously planned to get up towards Bleeding Hill Way and then I thought well I do do the backtrack again after you pass the cafe cafe shop after you've done Perrin Hill and I just I'd seen various little paths leading off but I, and I knew there was other routes but I also know that that was probably the one opportunity today to do that nice little route that I've just done weaving in and out little slightly muddy tracks with little woods little old pathways and it was actually easier than um, climbing up Hellinge Hill and if I'd done that I would have had to pass the gone up past the church and I'd been, been as low as the church what I'd done on this walk I'd gradually, I was on an incline, gradually going up, but going through fields where cows will definitely be very, very soon. Someone had even marked on uh, some steps up there a sign of a bull. So they don't always warn you, you see. They're supposed to, I think. I know this is the season of the cow now. They're all starting to come out now. So, I'm just a bit more wary talking about the cows again because after, after what I read this morning, just this morning, this woman who managed to survive, my goodness, she was lucky. Having nearly every bone in her body broken by a herd who kicked her and rolled her. She just totally, she had her arms broken, but she clung to her head. Her dog was killed. Her, her gentle dog was killed. Right then, we're nearly on the top now. I'll just stray off the path for a minute. This is the second golf course today, isn't it? Earlier I was on Weston. Earlier I was on Western Golf Course. Some walkers come in now. Um, I'm just going to walk over to this pole. I'm going to let those walkers pass me. I've rested on this pole with camera before. 
and homed in on things because I know this landscape really well. I've been up here a lot lately. So over there we've got Western Hill Fort, see? Over there. And I was up there yesterday having a quiet walk in the woods. It's not very good for photography today. It's very, very misty. Very misty. I'm just going to let these people go by because, to be quite honest, I don't want to get caught up with people. So I'm actually going off track a bit and I'll walk around. I'm going to walk around. And I'll walk back up again in a minute. You're not, I mean, you're supposed to keep the public footpath, but there's nobody out. I mean, it's, um... See, I've, I'm going to go and have a look at, over this fence, actually, because I've, I've often wondered why we can't get in this, this wood down here. Why we are just restricted to a very narrow bit. Oh, I can see a white van. They'll probably come hunting in a minute. There's a white van up there. They patrol probably. As soon as he moves, I'll have to start moving. Yeah, I just want you to have a look down here. So, I think I've walked all around it a long time ago, actually, when they were still building it. Yeah, see, so this is all the parts of the wood that aren't really accessible to the public. I bet there was a gate there once, though. Yeah, it's all very higgledy piggledy, isn't it? Well, it's nice to have another view be quite honest. Hey, I can see a bit of a path. I know that there is a gate further down that is always padlocked. So some people probably do know the way in here. Probably private. Yeah, it's a good chance to have a little wander around. Because if you think about it, you can't do this when the golfers. I wouldn't even think about doing it if the golfers were out. Yeah, a little bit of a path there, look. Those two people that are walking, they've probably gone by now. They didn't look like they really knew where they were going though. They looked like they had a map. One's got a red top on. I'm just going to carry on walking down here. Right, over and out for a minute, folks. I'm going to sort of wander around and join up like that while the opportunity is here. Over and out. And guess what? Just pure chance. I used to look for the Pro V's years ago. They were the good balls. Just found one, look. And a pink one. Just by chance, I just walk in because there's, there's no golf on. I just thought I'd have a little exploration of the area. And they're just sticking out. I won't really look in. It's just that I thought, well, I'll have a look. And uh, lo and behold, 
two golf balls just surfaced. So I'll keep them for souvenirs. I used to have hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of golf balls when I used to go on the golf course with my dogs at Barrow. And um, I used to flog them. A pound a ball. You know, they're expensive, the Pro Vs. They might have only been hit once, see? Eh? Anyway, guess where we are? Down a muddy track. Where are we going? Down through Hutton Wood. I'm half thinking about uh, coming off this path and going around where I did the other day because it's not like this. It's very, very, very slippery further down and very steep. As you will know if you follow my videos, I don't even know if I've shared quite a few videos lately. I've got a backlog again. I've got, I haven't put the Crook's Peak one on yet on YouTube. I haven't uh, done a couple of other walks I'd done I haven't put on either. I tend to do that, they build up and then I'll suddenly have a couple of days of getting them all put on. Because I do have followers, you see. I do have followers. <sighs> yeah, I've never known it as bad as this. Not up high here. There's more people out walking because of the lockdown. Two people I saw earlier had gone over past the blonde ponies. <sighs> They'd gone that way towards the other side of the wood. I was going to do that and then come back through a field, but I think well, I might have cows in it now. So I decided not to bother. I'm hoping this will improve in a minute because I, in theory, I prefer to go down all the way today. It is dangerous. <laughs> but I don't know if the dogs are out, you see, that belong to the farm. It might be a bit risky. Um, venturing near their run, their run area. Oh, but, um, as there is a little bit of the wood I will explore at some point when the bluebells are out. I've got, uh, <laughs> looking for golf balls now. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, this is becoming quite a familiar little patch for me now. It's, uh, it's one of those junction points, but of course at the moment I can't risk going on a, f a bus at all. They, they're dishing out fines because the council's uh, trying to retrieve money any way they can. And it's, it's quite harsh really, um, some of it. I mean there was a woman, she wasn't doing anyone any harm, she'd driven somewhere and she was just having an ice cream and they fined her I think a thousand pounds. Apparently you could be imprisoned as well because it's spreading disease. It could be spreading the plague, you see. And the only way to really enforce it with people and get it over is to fine heavily. But I hope they find themselves as well because some of those MPs have been breaking the rules. Yeah, so what I'm doing, I don't want to get too mucky actually because what it is, I'm going to Asda to get some parsley, some cod steaks and parsley sauce and some frozen peas, which I was supposed to get yesterday and totally forgot, and um, possibly some more, a couple of smaller bolts. I've got padlocks. I need to get a key cut for another padlock that I might be using. I think it only had one key. I can't really remember, but I got a feeling. God, look at that murk ahead. It's very tempting to go through the wood. It's very tempting. Look at that. Oh, God. It's like a big quagmire in it. Do you know what? I'm, I think I think I'm going to skirt a bit. 
That's terrible. That'll be really bad further down. Yeah, it's getting really bad. It's slippery as well. I'm going to find another way round and come down further down. I'm not going to go over as far as the farmhouse though. I'll get up here a bit and then branch off. When I get up this hill I'm going to have a drink of water. I haven't had one yet. Oh, and I'm hot again. Oh. It's going to turn out to be quite a long hike actually. But you've got to remember I do take my time. So hot. <sighs> oh. Take your scarf off. So take your scarf off. <sighs> take the gloves off, Jill. <sighs> it's mild, you see. It's actually quite mild. I'm baking. But you see, the thing is, with this sort of weather, you've still got to wear a winter coat really because it is still winter. Eventually these coats will go away, the lighter coat will come on, then eventually it'll just be <coughs> windshields and light waterproofs. But at the moment, I mean, it's hot work with this big quilted top on. I guess it's the bit with the dogs again. I didn't really want to come this way, but I might go straight down across. I am so hot. I haven't heard them barking. I expect they're allowed a bit of a free rain, you see. Oh, just get my breath back. I'm going to go straight down there, I think. Imagine if you saw a rock violet now. Even a fierce German Shepherd would be scary. And that's what Irish wolfhounds, I'm not sure. They're hunting dogs, aren't they? They'd sniff me out a mile away, wouldn't they now? Yeah, this is their running patch around here. You can see the run area. If I seen one now, I'd head straight back, I think. What well, the idea is to go down, straight down there in a minute, not follow it round, like a sort of go down here and have a look if I can get down. Oh, it looks very steep, doesn't it? No, follow on round, there is a path, just follow on round. But don't have a drink until you get round the corner. And you're backing away. Oh, hopefully they won't smell you. I think they would if they were home now. There's a path here which I was going to do anyway. I came down from over that way. Right down by a pole here. So this is still exploring. Just carry on down, she where you stopped waiting. Let's go down here. This is a big like drove, isn't it? Yeah, I came through a gap in the poles here. I'd walked from over that way. It's a lot easier going down here, isn't it, than that muddy track. But there are some steep areas I'd have to negotiate. I think I'll just walk down here. 
Yeah, I came through there. The farmhouse is up there. I'd had a little bit of exploring. This is going to be interesting doing it, actually. When the bluebells are out, it's going to be fantastic, isn't it? And once I can use the buses again, I'll be able to come over here. It only takes a quarter of an hour at the most on the bus from where I live to get here. It's going to be absolutely packed with bluebells, isn't it? The, I think they're bluebells. It could be um, wild garlic, but I've got a feeling it's bluebells. I think this is going to be fantastic here in the spring. I don't know about the summer. This is probably a very tickified and very um, brambleized. Right, I'm, so I'm carrying on down, following this track round. I'll, be, I'll come back on in a minute. I want to take some photos over and out. <laughs> 